27 million, I think. Now, this is a culture that the government has to be responsible for. 0.8% of benefits are fraudulently claimed, and yet the general public seems to think that a third of all benefits are fraudulently claimed. The government has a responsibility, not just to look after people, but it has a responsibility for the language it uses, for the rhetoric, and for the culture Mm -hmm. that it sets. Now, I know that me standing here probably won't convince the opposition benches of this, and this may uh, be a little bit unconventional, Madam Deputy Speaker, but I want to urge them to go and see a film. It's called I, Daniel Blake, and it will give you a cold and sobering view of the reality that so many people are living. Because that film actually quite rightly points out that when we have debates like this, we're not talking about service users, we're not talking about claimants, we're not talking about numbers or, or national insurance numbers on a concentric computer screen. We're talking about citizens, yeah. your citizens. We're talking about people here, and they deserve to be treated with a lot more dignity and respect than they are. Yeah, yeah. And our first statement as Prime Minister in Downing Street, Theresa May promised, if you're from an ordinary working class family, Life is much harder than many people in Westminster realise. When we take the big calls, we'll think not of the powerful, but of you. When we pass new laws, we'll listen not to the mighty, but to you. When it comes to taxes, we'll prioritise not the wealthy, but you. Mm. So my last question to the government is when? There are people with absolutely nothing. When are you going to prioritise the people that need you most? Because Lord knows they are losing both patience and hope. Yeah.